first year anniversary packed it to the brim and now we're packing it to the brim again. I am super, super excited to see all your beautiful faces. My name is Shannon Metesky. I am the host and creator of Queer Abstract. I'm also prom queen for the evening, okay? I'm gonna serve you my best prom dress that I got on Macy's Super Sale. Uh-huh, sure did. This is a $189 dress I got for $18.98. Bitch. I've been holding it for a year and I sold a hole that it had in it this morning, amen? That's what you gotta do for a good dress, goddammit, okay? I'm excited. So Queer Abstract is a queer trans POC performance art night. We do this show every third Friday. Some people ask, when is Queer Abstract? When is Queer Abstract? Every third Friday. When is Queer Abstract, bitch? I don't know. Google, what's, when is the third Friday? Siri, I be asking too, because I bitch don't know. Every third Friday, look at your calendar. We will be here, okay? Every Queer Abstract goes and starts with a question to probe the performers, to probe us as a community, to keep asking ourselves these pivotal, pivotal things that are changing in our lives on the daily. We've had um, things like, uh, you know, how do you face your fears to who got your back, which is this month, you know what I'm saying? So all kinds of good, feel good things to kind of get you thinking and get you in your hearts, you know? So I appreciate you guys coming out to show love to the QTPOC artist community, because motherfuckers is busting they ass all in, up, and through this city and beyond. Make some noise for Starbar, y'all. I met Starbar when they were only three months old. I walked in and I said, I want to move in now. And they were like, all right, cousin, let's go. And we've been doing beautiful business ever since. Starbar works with Mayday Space around the corner. They are both movements that support communities that are down with social justice. They are helping organizers. They are helping all type of revolutionaries do their motherfucking thing, okay? They hold fucking meetings, conferences, all types of shit. And then, of course, the parties, hey! So come here, drink with them, have happy hour with them, eat their food, but preferably not tonight, no tea, no shade, only cause they gotta move down this aisle and we packed in this motherfucker. But if you do see somebody who is carrying a tray, please be respectful and split the seas. So this is a fire hazard, just, you know, be courteous, be courteous. Um, I wanna thank y'all for contributing to Queer Abstract tonight. Queer Abstract is usually and will continue to be a free show. But it is expensive, and I gotta pay your DJs, your videographers, I gotta pay niggas. So I really appreciate y'all contributing tonight, because that's gonna help us fund the show throughout the third year, all right? And I almost didn't do a third year. Whoever was here was last month, I was like, y'all gotta, TT gotta keep you with y'all, okay? But I had a come to Jesus moment when I did drugs on the new year, and I said, okay, I can't let the people down. I gotta do this right, you know? And I wanna go out, you know, with something good on my heart. So if we gonna do it, we better do it real good. So this is our last year of Queer Abstract. That means we have about 12 shows left. It's gonna be buck wild and crazy. Everyone is gonna be special. And there's gonna be a few little changes, nuances, and fun things to see. It's gonna be cute, cute, bang, bang, real nice, okay? Uh, we are gonna have some guest hosts. That's gonna be cool, all littered throughout the year. We are gonna have some guest queer DJs up in this motherfucker littered throughout the year. That's gonna be cute, cute, crew, crew, crew. Uh, we are also gonna be teaching workshops. I'm gonna be teaching workshops that I'm calling QA Leads, and we're gonna be teaching you guys how to run your own show. Run! How to DJ your own show, what? And pretty much any producer questions you got, because this can't be the last time we do shit like this, and we collect like this, and we fellowship like this. So now, it's your turn! Come get some motherfucking leadership, and I'll give you all the fucking clues and insight and everything TT got, okay? Um, I really do want the community to feel charged by this movement, to feel excited by this movement, and get the fuck started on something else. What is the next QT, okay? Because I want to be there at the party without responsibility. Yeah! That would be real motherfucking nice, all right? So the format of a queer abstract, you're gonna have a few artists, then you're gonna have intermission, then you're gonna have a few more artists, and then we break it down, break it down, break it down. I wanna shout out our DJ, C. Lee and Adi right here. <laughs> Motherfucker.
motherfuckers fine as hell. Y'all actually look like y'all can go to prom. I bet y'all somebody dates this. This y'all, y'all ain't shit. I bet y'all niggas got y'all on reserve. I know, I know. And y'all going to the little, uh, what's the little Fizz, little Bow Wow B2K concert? I know y'all running with the crew. I know they are. They look like B2K fans. <laughs> Chris over there with Omarion skin, nigga. <laughs> Get weekly facials and shit. I love making fun of their young, beautiful asses. They're amazing. Um, bathrooms are over here and out there. They're really hard to get to, but just say, excuse me, be nice. Again, be really courteous to people walking through here and if folks gotta walk through there. Also, a bitch might cut you when it's intermission time because I gotta pee too, okay? So just be courteous and let's be community, all right? Are y'all ready to get into the motherfucking show? Yeah. Um, so we have some really dope talent, some new, some old, all fucking exciting. Um, but every time I give the artist a prompt, I try to respond to the prompt myself. So I wrote a little something, something. Man, I'm gonna read it to you. Can I do that? Yeah. yeah. Hey, baby girl, can I holler at that water, though? Because a bitch top lip is already sticking to her teeth, and I'm not going out like that. Y'all not about to get a bitch fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. That's my prom king, y'all. Oh. You feel me? Let me just get, mm. okay, I'm ready for them kisses, boo. Ooh. I ain't shit. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> All right, so this is what I got. Who got your back? I ain't gonna name no names, but I know you got my back if you've answered my calls, my texts, not text me too much, too early, let me go back to sleep. Not email me too much, long or often, unless it's an emergency. Not bothered me, unless it's important, or you just checking on my well-being, cause you know a bitch got too much to do, so little time, needs time to nap, masturbate, get ready, and you know I'ma be late. I know you got my back when you show grace, patience, if I'm stern, coarse, mean, tired, hungry, unpleasant, and can still offer me a hand. If you've offered to lift a chair, a table, measure the height of the balloons. If you showed up on time for your call time. If you showed up on time, show up when you said you would. I know you got my back when you take a panic out of my chest. Remove the boulder that I don't have to push through the venue. If you've helped me solve a problem, been the solution to the gap, fix it before I got the chance to think about it. If you've adjusted a chord, made a connection, brought someone to my show who needed to hear the message, who could get the message out. I know you got my back from the volume of your shout, the energy and attention you give to the stage. Every artist who has truly blessed this space, I know you got my back. And I ain't gonna name no names, but this wouldn't be what it is if not to celebrate you. You, confetti gun of brilliance. You, messiah of the gay agenda. Thank you for having my back, for trusting me to hold this space. I know you got my back if you fix the mic. Been patient when the sound was bad, when we had to restart the movies, when the lights came on during the party and you kept on dancing. I know you got my back, cause you let me cut you in that bathroom line during intermission, cause you held me down on my sobriety missions or bought me a drink when I wasn't passed me a joint when I was all done with it made sure I ate before the show during the show after the show if you deflated a balloon straw in hand like a spear when you carried a cash bucket donated every time you all show up here pose for a picture twerk on the dance floor after every introduction hello thank you I know you got my back and in return, I share that gratitude. I know I'm affirmed that I am not alone, that when I'm packing my things at home, I know you got my back. I know every time I doubt the power of this event, you all remind me why I have to come back while this movement is crucial, how we started something that is monumental, that every queer POC on this stage every month sh shines in all their glory, showcasing their talent in front of their own community in a pack house it's radical it's magical and when it's over we can all say that we were there in a bar called star packed to the brim so you didn't miss the fire that started right here brooklyn you got my back i know it i feel it and cheers to that <laughs> Hey, 
favor and compliment them. Something that you see, you know what I'm saying? 